What's up everybody, this is Zips from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation here. And today we're going to continue the Halloween thing since, well, it's Halloween tomorrow. Depending on when you watch this, it might already be Halloween or Halloween might have already passed. However, uh, today we're going to take a look at the Killing Floor Halloween update and also the Team Fortress 2 Halloween update. Um, just going to show you a little bit of each because TF2, many of you probably have already played it already. Uh, especially since it's free to play. So, but first we're gonna start with Killing Floor. They did a bit of a Southern Hillbilly Hick thing for their Halloween uh, update. Uh, all the uh, enemies are now changed. They are just, you know, almost stereotypical like Southern Hick looking people. You know, like, I don't know. It, when I say the word Bubba, you probably have a, a good idea of what some of these guys look like. There's a new map. There's also a few new achievements as well, and new weapons, and new paid DLC weapons, which actually has been a bit of a controversy amongst the Killing Floor community, but we're not even going to look at those. We're not even going to look at them right now, ever, whatever. We'll let Tripwire deal with that mess. The new map, it's a little dark, so it might not show very well in this video here, but it looks pretty good. A lot of bright, colorful lights uh, in areas. Other areas are just dark, but it's like a, a little southern, out-of-the-way uh, shack type. It's just, it's a redneck area. Backwoods. A lot of, um, shall we say, inbreeding going on there amongst the uh, the family. And I do believe that all the enemies are considered uh, family relatives. You know, they're, they're all related to one another. But you just have reskins of the old monsters. Looks pretty good. I'm playing on easy. Beginner just for uh, review, or not review, but recording purposes. Because I don't really feel like dying. Because I haven't played this game in a while and I probably suck at it. Really not too much to say. It's a bit of fun. So if you have Killing Floor installed, you should probably go check that out. And uh, I don't know exactly how long this lasts, but I think you got at least another week. I mean, come on. It's Halloween tomorrow, so surely you got at least another week going on for it. Uh, even even the uh, what was the Patriarch, he, he, he's got a new skin as well. He looks like a uh, sheriff-type dude or something like that. So enjoy that. And next up, Look at uh, Team Fortress 2. Now, this first bit here, it's actually kind of interesting. Um, they introduced a new map. Um, they also introduced some man versus machine stuff where they changed the machines into zombies. And it's called Wave 666. And it's a really tough endurance run. I didn't I didn't even think to record any footage from that, but um, that is in there. But if you're just playing uh, competitive, there's a new map. It's actually a reskin of the Lakeside map, I believe. And a new boss called Marasmus, and he's a bit tougher than the um, the old, uh, was it Monoculus from last year, I think it was. It definitely requires a big group effort to take him down. And strangely enough, it's kind of hard to find a server where everybody's working together. So this first clip, I kind of lucked out on. I went to a regular server, and everybody was working together, and we took him down after a couple tries. And it lets you teleport to Skull Island where you can get a new hat, which is, uh, it looks like a, a skull, strangely enough. And the Bombonomicon is there, and he's talking to you a bit, which you really probably can't hear in this clip, because I'm talking over it right now, obviously. But it's nice. Everybody worked together. Nobody killed each other. Uh, in fact, even when gifts showed up for people, uh, they stopped capping. Like, it actually happened to me, where I had a gift pop up, and they were starting to cap on well, hold on. And they're like, okay, yeah, no problem. So that was nice. That was nice. But other servers, obviously, um, you will have PvP going on with people killing each other. And every time one team captures the, the uh, center point, it spins a wheel of destiny or fate or something. It spins a it spins a wheel, and uh, it does some various effects like low gravity or high jump or big heads or small heads or there, there's a few things there. There's a pretty cool one which I wasn't able to capture uh, where everybody it, it lines everybody up from both teams uh, in the middle of the map and they do the uh, the dance the dance which you can actually see in one of the uh, taunts. It's just the one I think it's the thriller dance or something like that. But there you go. So. With Halloween just around the corner, I've got a couple more ideas. I don't know if I'm going to have time for them, though, including Natural Selection 2, which actually comes out... I think they're releasing it early. It might actually be out today. So I think it's out today at 5 p.m., uh, if I remember correctly. If not, then it's definitely out tomorrow on Halloween. We're going to check that out. I've had it for a little bit. I haven't played it for months, though. It'll be nice to check out the final build of it. 
uh, from what I saw in a couple other videos, it's looking a lot better than it used to, and it plays a lot better than it used to, but I'll find out firsthand. So, with that said, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. This has been Zips with Total Gaming Network and CS Nation.